I painted this one mostly at night. It's the view out my kitchen window. And it's one that really, along with the mixed media ones, illustrates the just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't their concept. This took two weeks. Um, I just loved the way when I look out my window, it looks like a fairyland. And I just loved it and I wanted to do it in watercolor. So I did. I got up at night and I turned off the, I didn't get up at night, I was up at night. And I turned off the indoor lights so that I could see more clearly this kind of fairyland that I would see when I would get up at night and walk out to get a cup of tea or something without the lights on. So I painted this at night to try to get what I saw and get what was lit, get the lights in, it's not the middle of the night, um, and keep those parts light and at the same time getting shadows in, or back away again, um, that I could see at night. But then looking at my palette and my painting, the colors are quite different when you're painting in the dark. So I'd get up the next morning and look at it and go, oh my goodness, I went too dark, or oh my goodness, what's that, or so on. I would take things out that had gotten too dark, put things in, um, protect a little bit more of what I had found, for example. Yeah, this gives you an idea of the scale of this, too. Um, what I had found in the um, lights, which ones I wanted to keep and where they were, get those saved so I didn't paint over them by mistake at, uh, in the day when I was revising some of the forms and getting those in. And then I go back at night and I go and paint in, work on my lights, work on the way this looked. You just go slowly across this so you can see it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I should be doing this on a, a YouTube format too. It is a vertical picture though. But this is the first painting that I did when I came back from Texas. And I just love this beautiful view out there at night. And you can see also here, this is the ocean and this is the sky. So I have the horizon in it. And I, I signed my name in an unusual place. I signed it on the horizon because it got so dark in here by the time I was done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> had to find another place because this is very dark. It's a night painting. And I'm very proud of it. And I love looking at it. These are the houses along, I believe, Loma. There, this is the uh, a ridge or a ridge of sand dune. And um, this here is Pier Avenue as it curves. And then as it curves, it then goes down here to the pier. Um, so this is Upper Pier. Uh, this is around by the Civic Center. And here's an advertisement for the art walk that was coming. Uh, the Civic Center is, oh, I guess it's down around in here. The, in the um, fire engines come out. Uh, uh, yeah. So like all of the, the library and police and all of that is right down here. It's a cent that's the center of town, basically. And um, these are, this building and these things, when I was a little kid, I just loved this. I thought, ooh, when I grow up, I'd like to be an artist and have a place with those big paned windows. They're not paned anymore. That are slanted, that looks out over all of this and gets this wonderful light. Well, so I did a painting of it instead. This down here uh, is Becker's, uh, Becker's surfboards and great clothes, um, great high quality cotton, heavyweight cotton that you can wear and wash and wear and wash and roll in the sand and all of that. 
Anyway, so this was my first plain air painting done from my house. And I said, well, I have this view, you know, and I have, and I love it so much. Um, I need to paint it. Oh, and the thing, uh, there's a, I made this into a card, and the thing about it is, this is interesting. This is Pier Avenue, and this place here downstairs, their addresses are on Pier Avenue. This place up here is at a different angle. The end of the porch here is smaller, and it's bigger there, and these things, their addresses are actually on 14th Street, the one street back, because this isn't the front of their places. Actually, the fronts, some of them are on the alley, and some of them are over here. <laughs> but anyway, they have addresses that line up with 14th Street, which is uh, right about here. The addresses change from um, 14 to 15 right here. And Pier Avenue is, Pier Avenue over is a 1300 block, and their, and their address down here is on Pier Avenue, and theirs is on 14th. And that was the other thing about this that has always fascinated me, that one end of the balcony is very narrow and the other is much larger as a walkway over there, too. And it's because the building on top is actually on a different survey line or <laughs> street line or something. It doesn't line up with Pier Avenue. The one on the bottom does, but the one on the top doesn't. It lines up with 14th Street. It's just, <laughs> just the greatest thing. Okay, I guess that's all I, I wanted to say, except for one more thing. This is also a good example. I paint paintings to understand the world around me. And I learned a whole lot from doing this one. And I usually do. And I put in a new skill, which was trying to paint at night, keeping the light preserving the lights the way they were uh, without using a mask or a, you know, a rubber block out to do that, but just the traditional way, just don't paint it. If it's light in watercolor, you don't put anything there or you paint very light colors, but you preserve it to the end. Like here, look how bright this is. Um, and also, I didn't, I didn't use photographs for this. this. This was, you know, done from life. So, and those are the things I like to do. And then also, I enjoy brush strokes. I have wonderful, wonderful, wonderful sable brushes and Winsor Newton watercolors and Arsh paper that are an absolute joy. You see all of this down in here? You don't really see it if I just look at it in a real quick pass by and take a look. And again, so my paintings take a long time to do. Um, you can enjoy them for a long, long time as well. This one's pretty special to me. Another in the series called My Front Yard. Okay. Oh, I hope my voice is okay. I just discovered I have vocal grind. And I had dealings with someone yesterday that turned into a complete ass the minute I opened my mouth. Or maybe it just is that way. Uh, yeah, so... I'm getting ready to put this one into the Shockbox Landscape exhibit. I think it's just a really good example of all of those things I was talking about. It's about Hermosa. It's about me. It's about my process. It was a challenge that I gave myself, which was to do a watercolor at night in the dark. And it 
It involved a lot of getting up in the morning and fixing it and then looking at it at night and fixing it and going back and forth and back and forth. So it's a very deep <laughs> painting. And it's small. And again, I like them small because then they get hung sometimes in intimate places where you keep looking at them a little and looking at them a little and you find new things all along. So that's what I have to say about myself and my painting and this painting. And 